Hello everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. So today we are going to see how we can create this kind of summer text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start the video. First let's remove everything from the artboard and I'll select my background layer and draw a simple rectangle and I'll fill this with using this code a simple aquatone color and let's lock our background layer and let's start creating our text effect the font I'm using for this text effect is aha wow and the font size will be 130 point let's center this to the artboard next click on this none to remove the fill color and then we'll go to appearance panel click here on this icon add new fill and let's fill this with a simple black and white gradient now change the angle to 90 and now let's change the colors next let's go back to the appearance panel and duplicate this layer next select this layer and let's change the color I'm using this color for this layer next keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform here in move section for vertical 0.5 pixel and we need 20 copies then click ok keep selecting this layer duplicate this layer now select this layer and let's change the color of this layer to this one I'm using this color for this layer then click OK next click on this arrow then click on transform and increase the copies to 40 then click OK next select this layer go to effect path and offset path apply a minus 2 pixel offset path then click OK next let's hide this layer for now we'll use this layer later for drop shadow now select our first layer and duplicate this and let's change the color to any abstract color and then keep selecting this layer go to effect path and offset path and apply a 12 pixel offset path and then click ok next go to effect distort and transform and transform and for this in move section apply a 5 pixel vertical value then click ok next select this layer and then go to gradient panel and apply a default black and white gradient change the angle to minus 90 here let's apply these colors I'm using color picker tool you can use these codes then go to appearance panel and now let's drag this layer to bottom now select this layer and click on this plus icon to duplicate this now select this layer and again go to the gradient panel and let's change the colors now change the angle to 90 
next go to appearance panel and click on this arrow then click on transform and here in move section change the value from 5 pixel to 7 pixel then click ok next select this layer duplicate this and let's change the color of this layer to this one then click ok now drag this layer to bottom and keep selecting this layer then go to effect distort and transform and transform click on apply new effect and in move section for vertical 0.5 pixel and we need 32 copies here then click ok next select this layer and duplicate this layer and let's change the color of this layer to white next drag this layer to bottom keep selecting this layer click on this arrow click on offset path and change the offset path value to 38 pixel change joins to round and then click ok now click on transform and in, in move section increase the vertical value from 7 pixel to 20 pixel and then click ok next click on this arrow then go to effect blur and gaussian blur apply a 15 pixel gaussian blur and then click ok now click here to unhide this layer now select this layer go to effect blur and gaussian blur and apply a 3 pixel gaussian blur and then click ok next click on this arrow then click on opacity change the blend mode to multiply and change the opacity as you want i'm going for i think 70 percent will be good i'm okay here and next click on this type then go to effect warp and then click on arc and it's all up to you what you like i think um it's pretty good here let's add another shadow under this 3d layer for this let's go to appearance panel and select this layer and duplicate this layer now and now select this layer and change the color of this layer to this one then click ok then click on this arrow then click on transform and change these copies from 32 to I think 50 will be good then click ok now select this layer then go to effect blur and gaussian blur and i think five pixel yes five pixel looking good then click ok next click on opacity change the blend mode to multiply and change the opacity to 70 percent click on offset path and lower the offset path to around 8 pixel or 7 pixel and then click ok let's increase the opacity to 80 or 90 percent so here is the our final text effect look if you have learned something from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching